Shortly after World War II, Colorado Governor Ralph Carr opened Colorado up to Japanese Americans, brought many to Denver, creating nine blocks of Japanese-owned businesses downtown. Well, that shrunk to about just a block these days. And what stands may soon have to be cleared to preserve history. Today, Lieutenant Governor Diane Primavera visited the rejuvenated Sakura Square in downtown Denver, just around the corner from Larimer Square. The space will serve as a hub for Asian American businesses and restaurants. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn looks into the significance of Sakura Square for both Denver and the AAPI community. This is a Daruma doll. Traditionally, the Japanese color in one eye with a wish, then they work hard, and with a bit of luck, it comes true, and they color in the other eye. And certainly for some people of Japanese descent who came here after World War II and helped found Sakura Square, their wishes came true. They had everything taken away from them, yet they're able to build a business like ours. Jolie Noguchi runs Pacific Mercantile Company with her daughter, Alyssa. A lot of people don't realize that, like, we built this store from nothing. Noguchi's grandfather came to Colorado in the 1940s after being interned during World War II. Georgie and I started the grocery store, and family members have kept it going for 75 years. Specialties include sashimi and Japanese-made goods. It's also one of the few supermarkets in downtown Denver. It was um, an icon. Everybody used to come through the back door instead of the front door because the Buddhist temple was right um, behind us. Over time, the square's cultural relevance has been overshadowed by the changing landscape. You know, it's really lost its Japanese influence, and in the redevelopment, that's our focus. Gary Yashimita heads the Sakura Foundation, a nonprofit that manages the company which owns the property. The foundation is working to redevelop the entire area with a new Buddhist temple, residential tower, retail and cultural center. It's very important that we uh, continue to, to maintain uh, and preserve and enhance uh, this, this special treasure that we have here at Sakura Square. It makes us nervous. The tenants will have to move over time. Groundbreaking could start in two years and may take up to seven years for completion. We need the community. We need all of you to, you know, help us survive. It's been hard enough trying to make it through a pandemic, but Noguchi has hope. You know, um, it's going to be it's so exciting to see what this block will turn out to be. Like the Daruma doll, even if you knock it down, it pops back up. And the new Sakura Square is planned to strengthen not only Asian American ties, but Denver as a whole. In Denver, Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado first. The pandemic has certainly slowed down the redevelopment, but the Sakura Foundation says things are getting right back on track. Technically, this is the second time the area will see a major redevelopment. The last time was back in the 1970s when Sakura Square was first constructed.